Well, welcome back. And today I've got a couple of topics that uh, I'm going to cover. Um, the first one is about having patience when you're buying your watch. Now, I have probably lost maybe 20 to 30 sales this week. Um, and the reason that I've lost those sales is because I haven't got the right watches in stock for my customers. Now, the reason I haven't got them in stock is because I can't find them. Now, yes, I can find them, but no, I can't find the right watches. Now, the right watches for you are the right watches for me. Unless that watch is the correct watch for me, unless the condition is right, unless all the, the bullet points that I want to check and tick are right for me, I refuse to buy that watch just to fulfill an order. Um, does it hurt me that I've lost 20, 25 sales this week? No, not at all. Absolutely not bothered. Not one bit. Um, and I honestly mean that. And the reason that um, I'm not disappointed um, is because I know that if I'd fulfilled those orders, I'd probably end up with some unhappy customers. Waiting for the right watch to come along is a little bit like waiting for the right woman to come along in your wife. You know, sometimes you make the wrong decision and you regret it afterwards. Um, and if you rush into things, it can lead to mistakes. And that is exactly the way I feel about my watch purchasing. Um, I say to a lot of my customers, look, have patience. If you have to wait a month for the right watch, it's better than buying a watch today that is the wrong watch, both for you and for the future. Now, having patience when you've made your mind up that you want a watch is not easy. It takes a man of steel. It takes a man with integrity and a stiff upper lip because we all know what watch disease is like. I have it, but I've learned over the years that patience is a real virtue in the watch industry and i've never understood high pressure watch salesmen why would you need to push a watch onto someone if you are proud of your stock why would you need to do that never ever ever fall for the pushy salesman i am the most relaxed watch dealer you'll ever find i never ever push a watch onto anyone people often say to me oh ring me back or can you ring me in a couple of weeks the answer is look you know what i never chase my customers my watches sell themselves um i've never got enough watches in stock to fulfill um the customers that i have potentially and you know finding the watches is hard work so you know, these pushy salesmen, if you come across the pushy salesman, just walk away. Um, in fact, quite often when I'm with a customer, very often I will say to them, look, why don't you go away today, have a think about it, sleep on it and let me know tomorrow. Give your customer a calling off chance. If, if you feel as an experienced salesman, you will know. And if you are a salesman, you'll know exactly what I mean right now. If you're an experienced salesman and your customer is not comfortable with what he's particularly buying or you can feel that moment of hesitation give him a break just say look give him the chance to walk away give him the chance to feel you know unobligated just say go away have a think about it let me know tomorrow it's no big deal if you're confident in your stock if you're confident in your ability if you're confident in the quality of the watches that you're selling that watch is never going to stick so ultimately you don't have to push watches onto customers. It's wrong, it's bad manners, it's rude, and it's bad practice. Never ever suffer the pushy salesman, the hard sale line, it is just not worth listening to. Now, going back to the beginning about having patience and, um, and, and, and getting the right watches, you know, as I say, this week I've lost maybe 20 to 25 sales. It could even be one or two more. I know it's been a lot. Um, but at this time of year, you know, we're in August now, just into August. This is generally a quiet period of the year. The last couple of weeks in July, first couple of weeks in August, all the kids are on holiday. You know, they've broken up from school. A lot of families going away on, on, on holiday this time of year. And normally, along with Easter, this is the quietest period of the year for many watch dealers. And in fact, 
in the trade, we often call it the watch dealer's break because a lot of watch dealers themselves take this opportunity, last two weeks in July, first couple of weeks in August, to have a break from the business themselves. But I've got to say that it's looking like without a shadow of a doubt, the busiest year on record for watch sales, particularly since Brexit. Since Brexit, the industry has gone absolutely ballistic in the UK. Um, watches are actually flying out of the door um, and it's becoming really, really difficult to source new pieces. So I did a video a couple of weeks back called Sometimes Less Is More, and I'd like you to watch that video. It's, it's about low stock levels and why sometimes my website is not brim full with 250 watches. Um, there's a very good reason behind that. Um, and, you know, I'd like you to watch that video and consider what I have to say about sometimes in the watch business, less is more.